go. Now we learn how to use your domestic fridge. It is a three-way fridge that will connect to your gas, your mains when you're plugged in, and also to your alternator when you're driving. So before we start, I would just like to let you know, if you do run your fridge on gas, um, it is not recommended to be on a slope. The fridge does not like to tilt from the right to the left. Um, just remember with the nose of your motorhome, if your nose is up or down, that is not very good for the fridge. Um, if the fridge is tilted forward or backwards, it's not so much as if of, a, of an issue. The reason behind that is that the gas mixture that's coming out of your gas bottle will need to travel up the coils in the back of your fridge to reach the conden condensation, the, co the condenser, sorry. Um, so if the fridge is slightly um, tilted to the side, the mixture will struggle to get around the coils and in time that will create a sludge in the coils which you um, won't be able to drain and that would require um, a change of coils. So we do really want to avoid that. As a rule of thumb, it is recommended to use um, gas that has been refilled within your own um, gas bottle um, and try to avoid swap a bottle. And the reason is that um, a lot of those swap bottles have just been topped up. Um, they have, been, have not been completely emptied out. And then the gas mixture, which is the butane propane mixture, is not in the right relationship with each other. And then you get a bad gas bottle that um, your fridge will struggle with. So just if you can, try to refill your own bottle rather than swap a bottle. So your fridge has got um, several features. Um, for a starter, to open the doors, you just push these um, clips in. The doors will open. And when you close the doors, they're automatically locked. So you will not have to remember to lock the fridge door. There is a warming feature embedded around the freezer. Um, this warming feature, um, basically um, what it does, it senses condensation. If the temperature in summer is very hot and humid while you open your freezer door, there will be condensation forming. The sensor will sense it, evaporate it, and there will be no ice on. Another feature of this fridge is an automated ventilation system. That would enable you to actually control the humidity and will enable you to have a crisper that you can change the humidity to any settings you like. If you at home, if you don't want to run the fridge, if you have it turned off, but you want to have it aired to avoid bad smells, then what you do, you take these clips out for the freezer and for the fridge door. They click in just like that. And now the fridge is locked, however, also ajar for airing. Once you turn the fridge back on, you clip them back into place. To turn the fridge on and off, you simply press and hold five seconds and the fridge is now off. To turn it back on, you press and hold five seconds and the fridge will turn back on. This is your main um, display. You've got three levels of controls. So to actually, um, this, this control panel will time out. To wake it up, all you have to do is you turn the wheel. As you can see, you cannot enter any of these three levels before you push. And now this gives you control to go into each of these three levels. The first one is the temperature. So we are now on maximum cold. The more white squares you have, the colder the fridge. If you want to turn it warmer, you can do that by pressing and confirming and now the fridge is about medium cold i would like to turn it back to max now so i push i turn the wheel oops sorry turn the wheel to max push confirm the next level is your energy source setting which basically um, controls um, the energy source where your fridge will connecting, be connecting with. As you can see now the display will go dimmer and will time out. To wake it back up, you just turn the wheel. 
so I would like to enter this level now so I press turn the wheel go into this level and con and confirm now what you see blue now is active what is grayed out is inactive so with this fridge you have the choice of going manually onto mains when you're plugged into your house or at the campsite and it will go on mains power if you want to have it manually put on gas then you can do this as well this icon is your alternator your starter battery if you put it manually on the starter battery like now you will now when you're not driving drain your starter battery and then your house battery so absolutely not recommended for easy use and peace of mind just put the system on auto mode and the automatic setting will then um, switch automatically between those energy sources that are, that are available if you are plugged into mains and you also have your gas open the auto mode will connect first to mains the second choice will be gas we are not connected to mains right now that's why the auto system connects straight to gas but if we would be connected to mains then you would see auto and you would then see a mains plug if i would unplug the motorhome it would automatically switch to gas if i would start the engine now it would automatically go onto mains uh, sorry onto alternator so you see then the battery icon so i will connect to the alternator once you cut the engine it will go onto a petrol station mode so to speak so you see like a little symbol like a petrol pump and it would allow you 15 minutes to get your diesel before you're starting the engine again after the 15 minutes the fridge will try to connect to gas again now most customers are happy with the auto mode because that would um, basically um, make life much easier as you don't have to um, manually turn or switch between all the different settings the only problem with the auto mode is that um, if you are traveling along and then you park and you have lunch you're going out for lunch or doing your groceries and you are longer than 15 minutes and you have forgotten to turn the gas on the fridge will try three times to connect to gas after the third time it will go on fault now you are coming back from having your lunch you're not aware of the fridge being on fault on gas so what happened if you would start the engine the fridge automatically will connect to the alternator if you then go to a campsite and you pl uh, plug yourself into mains the fridge will also automatically connect to mains however next time you try to be freedom camping and open your gas bottle the fridge will not connect to gas until you um, clear the fault out of the system to do that it's very easy so when you actually done your groceries you 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 were more than 15 minutes the fridge would have tried three times unsuccessfully to connect to gas you would see this part auto and gas flame bright red so all you have to do when you come back is press and hold for three seconds that's all press and hold for three seconds if you press and hold too long five seconds you turn the whole fridge off which doesn't matter you turn it back on but the um, fault will still be in the system so you definitely have to press and hold three seconds you hear a little beep you let it go and the fault is cleared and then the fridge will try again to go on gas or which energy source is available this can also happen when uh, you connect a new gas bottle because the fridge needs to purge there will be a lot of air coming through the fridge will be trying to connect to gas all that it will be getting is is air so it will come up with a fault auto gas bright red you press and hold three seconds and delete and this can happen over and over again until the fridge finally catches the gas can happen up to 10 times to speed this process up it is recommended to start the hops of the oven that will bring in the gas into the lines and make purging time for the fridge much shorter 
down below here are two settings and you have to be careful with these you can get yourself a little bit into trouble first is user mode second is settings so as user mode we've got performance mode battery saving mode and silent performance mode is recommended it means that all the features of the fridge are activated and the energy consumption of the fridge is minimal compared to the battery saving mode so there is really no need for you to go into battery saving mode if you put the fridge into battery saving modes then what happens the automated ventilation system will turn off the fridge will only connect to gas and sorry it just likes to flick away very fast so i'm just keep turning the wheel um so and the the anti-freezing feature the warming feature around the freezer door will also be um, disabled so absolutely no need to put the fridge on battery saving mode just leave it permanently off, on performance silence silence means you would turn the um, automated ventilation system completely off that is for people who are light sleepers and who might hear a little bit of a noise during the night, they can turn this feature off. However, then you don't get the benefits of the humidity control in the CRISPR. The last one is the settings. So all the icons that are blue are activated. So this one is the um, automated ventilation system. This one here is the warming feature around your freezer door and D plus is your wiring to your alternator. If you turn that off, you will not be able to run the alternator, uh, the fridge via the alternator. So this is very important that it always stays on. To turn any feature off, you just turn on it, click on it, now it's gray, which means it's off, but I will turn it back on. This one here is a kitty lock. So if you activate that, means that the fridge is still unlocked. However, the control panel is locked. So if you've got little children, they like to play with the, with, the, with the control panel, you can put it on kitty lock. To deactivate it, you click quickly three times, click, click, click. Then you go back into this menu and undo the kitty lock. You can also put it on silent which is not like the other silent when you turn the ventilation system off. This one is just mute. If the fridge has a problem and wants to talk to you, it will stay quiet. So it is a good idea to keep the fridge talking to you so you know when you actually, when it needs some attention. And that's basically it. It's very nice and easy um, for any um, further questions or fault calls codes you can look up the manual of the domestic fridge which is very easy to follow have fun